maximize, baby. You came in the game as far as in the game, mainstream wise, relatively, you know, relative, it's been a short time. We're doing circles, by the way. <laughs> we're, we're walking around the third floor of Frederick Douglass Academy doing circles. That's what, that's what we do, man, over here at Hip Hop Game. Um, so, yeah, you spoke about, you know, coming in the game and having people listen to and respect your sound. Who, what other artists in hip hop have embraced you? Kanye, um, Kanye sat in the studio rehearsing my joints. Kanye, how did that feel? How he was, was that? you know what? I can't even say that it was like overwhelming. But like we chatted, like we like Kanye is such a down to earth dude that when he gets called out of his name and called all kinds of disrespectful shit, like I can see how somebody would take his demeanor and call him an asshole because I get called an asshole all the time. But it's not because I'm trying to be a jerk. It's because like I don't know how to be anything other than real. Yeah. So Kanye, what can you say? Like I'm Kanye West, nigga. I sold a bunch of records and I came up. So you can't tell me nothing, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> so like once we understood that about each other and I played in my music, like he loved it. And obviously he's not gonna say I'm the best artist in the world, but the thing is like based on public consensus, that's him. But he gave me a lot of love. He said he sees he sees the direction, he believes in the direction. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be as mind as humble as I can. I mm -hmm. try to overquote it and have him go on his blog and cut my ass. But he did put one of my songs on his blog recently. Nice, nice. So if he didn't like my music, I don't think I'd be on his blog. Um Mike Shinoda, DJ Quick, Macy Gray, um, uh, Eminem, um, 50's heard my shit. Anytime 50 see me, and they be like, hey, yo, Nick, you got, you got that record? You got the record? Listen, man. I got signed to Interscope, he's like, so you say deal with Nick? I said, Interscope, he's oh, sorry. <laughs> but do you think, no kid, you know, I like your style, man, but you gotta pick one style, man. You can't be rapping like all this shit, man. Well, I fuck with you, kid. I like you. We ain't rubbing on your head and shit, pause. Like, this nigga 50, he, he real. Um, Jim Jones, show love. Shout out to Jimmy. Um, of course, my cousin, MC Light. Um, word in the grapevine, Joel Ortiz fucks with my shit. Banks fucks with my shit. Like, a lot of people, like, they show love. Uh, Pharrell gave me a huge cosign. Mm -hmm. He even shouted me out at going to the dock. That's good. That's major. So, yeah, yeah. Pharrell show love. LL Cool J. Like, people show love, but then, like, at artist to artist, they're not on some, hey, we got some, we got some, because there's a business behind that. Oh, yeah. It's on some, like, as long as at the end of the day I can go to sleep and say, yeah, these artists have said they love my work, they appreciate it. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie said he's heard yeah, of me and loves my music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lionel Richie, so, like, I go to sleep at night comfortable, because it's like, I know that that's real, and like, I, these people have shaken my hand and said they love my Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> so like, a lot of people that are important show love. And I'm not trying to like name drop or nothing, it's just like, I've now accepted the fact like, oh wow, that is a cool sign. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So, that's what it is. So, what's new about Charles Hamilton? Like, what is something that, you know, you have that, we were, just, we were just talking about this video off camera, but you know that you have that others don't. A cell phone. Nah, you laugh, like, I don't look at the industry, I look at it. Turn it on the camera. Look at that. That's what I look at. That's what I think about. I have a cell phone. I have a wallet, I have a bank card, I have a real estate ID, I have money in my pocket. That's what I have. And I was lower than this, and this ain't even low, this is clean now. I can walk you through here and show you some shit. This is what I, I come up from. And yeah, I was born in Cleveland, but I wasn't necessarily in Cleveland long enough to be repping Cleveland that hard because what I gained from Cleveland was nothing but pain. I came out to New York and I learned how to deal with pain. I got a deal and I learned that there's such thing as a happy end. So I don't give a fuck, personally. So, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, or whatever, nigga. I'm out of the situation that I was in. And because people believe in me in high places, and it's not a matter of, yo, know, Charles, do this or your album's not coming out. It's Charles, keep doing music. You'll be rewarded for it. 
I get rewarded differently than your acts that get signed to such and such. My deal is a my deal puts me in a place. I don't want to say nothing. How these bloggers call me cocky. My deal puts me in a place for me to do what I've always been doing, just on a bigger level. Mm.